Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk. This is just a little quick update on this um, little component analyzer that I got. Um, now, after I posted the previous video, and you remember me saying that overall, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this, it uh, recognizes all the um, semiconductors and everything that I wanted. But I was a little disappointed in um, basically measuring low value capacitors, I didn't think it was particularly accurate. Um, someone actually commented on my video that um, you can basically you can calibrate these. Um, they have a calibration function built in, um, and I actually went up online and had a quick look on that. And indeed, yes, there is now. There's two versions of this board, um, and they calibrate very, very slightly different. I'm not 100% sure which version that I've got here. Whether um, this is the latest version or it's the slightly earlier version, because you can't I can't really tell a difference. But it's it very slightly different on how you calibrate them. But um, one involves using a 100 nanofarad capacitor. The other one, you don't need the 100 nanofarad capacitor. So I'm hoping... Um, I don't know if that wire will work or not. Um, I'm hoping um, we should be able to get, get away with it, basically. And um, see if we can calibrate this thing. Now, what I have to do first apparently is connect pins uh, 1, 2 and 3 together so I've got some bridge wires here, let's try doing this so I go for between that one that's 1 and 2 together and then I go between Two and three. Oh, that wire in there. That wire in there. Right, I think I've got that. Hopefully, I've got a a reasonable connection on all of them. That's not making a very good connection up there. That's making an awful connection. Let me see if I can get that connection there a little bit better. That's dropped out of there. I'll tell you what folks, just give me a second and I'll just get that um, connected up and we'll be right back. Right, okay, there we go. So let me just zoom you in so you can see that. So you can see I've basically just got a little bit of wire that goes between pin 1 to pin 2. Then I have a little bit of wire that goes between pin 2 to pin 3. So let's press the uh, power button. So it's self-test. Now I think this one's the one that actually needs the capacitor, so let's um, let it go through the test. And at one point I think it'll take me, yeah, please um, isolate the probe. So basically we need to take them two little wires that we put in back out. Take that one out. Now, curse, because I use two uh, smaller pieces here. Let's see if we can get that out. There we go, that's out. Right, insert the capacitor to between 1 and 3. I've got a uh, 100 nanofarad capacitor here, so we go between 1 and 3 there. That's 1 and 1. 1 and 3 is there. Okay. So this is the slightly earlier version of this, apparently the later version, you don't need to do that. Um, end test, it's telling us it's um, 104 nanofarad. So let's take that out. I'll let this go off and I'll go and get another capacitor. Because if you remember when I tried um, a 100 nanofarad capacitor on this uh, when we was testing it, it was coming out at like 80 odd um, nanofarads. Let me grab one of those. In fact, I've got the exact capacitor we tried last time here. This is the exact same um, 100 nanofarad capacitor we tried last time. So now we've calibrated this. Let's uh, just let's just try and see what this comes out at. No, eighty four point two five. 
let's try another one because I've actually got in fact I've got a big bag of um, I think I've got another hundred in here There's a few different values in here but I've got a hundred there of a different um, a different manufacturer let's try that it could just put, be that those are a little bit on the um, iffy side and actually this is quite accurate we will see now so between one and three let's put that in there make sure I've got a good uh, good connection let's try this see what this one comes up at 116 that's a bit more like it so perhaps those are just really really bad capacitors let's try another one of um let's try another one of these um, hundreds yeah that's a hundred let's try one that's a brand new one that's never been on in a board or anything so let's go between pin three and there let's see what this one's like Yeah, that's pretty close, isn't it? 98. Let's go and grab another one. I mean, what I'm doing, basically, the more we test if they're mostly coming out around the 100 mark. I think it's just a case of that capacitor that we uh, tried. It's just not very good. What's that there? That's going to be really tricky to test in here. I think that's a hundred, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that to make e easily test because it's uh, got very very sharp legs on it. Uh, it might do. So we get pin three there. We might just be able to test this in here. Let's see. Let's try that. Yeah, hundred, bang on. So perhaps I was wrong on that last, uh, in fact, I know I've got one here, that's a 10, that's a 10 nanofarad. Let's see if that's going to um, come up. I'll go pin three and one over there. Let's try that. Yeah, that's about right. It's showing it in picofarads, not the nanofarads, but it's about right, that. So it must just be that these are particularly out of spec, they're particularly um, poor quality. Let's try that back in there again. But everything this is telling us now, it seems, no, it's actually fairly accurate. If this comes up around 84 this time, yeah. I think these them capacitors are just not very good. They're not very um, accurate capacitors. I'm something I'll have to remember that in the future because I have used them on um, a few projects. So every every other capacitor I test is testing pretty much close to where it should be. And you've seen how you actually calibrate this thing now anyway. So um, basically you have to shore all three probes together, switch it on. Um, and with this version you do need a 100 nanofarad capacitor to put between um, one and three when it tells you to, it, it finishes off. Apparently in the newer version of this, um, you don't need to do that. You short the three pins, uh, start it calibrating at the point it tells you to remove the three pins and it just finishes it. I presume it's got a capacitor built in to do that calibration or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, it looks like this is actually a little bit, a little bit more accurate than I was um, first um, thought it would be. Next thing I will do, I won't do it on this video because I'm going. To, I'll find some actual inductors, uh, mark value inductors, and we'll see how close it is on them and see if it is actually a bit better than I thought it was. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, there for now. I hope you enjoyed this slight update on um, seeing this little thing. So I'll say thanks for watching and goodbye.